welcome back to my channel. So this is the look I decided to create for you and this is my second New Year's Eve look. I wanted to give you guys some options and they're both easy looks to recreate and of course I will have my New Year's Eve look number one linked above so if you guys missed that video you can check it out and decide which look you want to wear. So if you guys like this look please stay tuned. So I'm first going to start by doing my eyebrows. I'm using NYX Tame and Frame in the color Espresso and a MAC 266 brush. Next I'm going to take NYX's Full Coverage Concealer and I'm going to apply this to my lids in preparation for my eyeshadow as well as sculpt out my eyebrows. I'm going to take this black eyeshadow. This is Makeup Geeks Corrupt and I'm just going to use a MAC 212 flat eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to start carving out a little bit of a line like when you create winged liner. Once my line is drawn I'm going to take that blush and start flicking it upwards and inwards towards my eye. I'm just going to take a clean Morphe B43 brush and start softening up the edges. Make sure I contain this color to the outer portion of my eye. Next I'm going to take a flat eyeshadow brush and that same black eyeshadow and start packing it on again to the outer corner of my eye, building up that black eyeshadow color. Next I'm going to take Makeup Geek's Mocha Eyeshadow and I'm just going to use a Makeup Geek pointed crease brush and I'm just going to start building my crease color. And I'm just going to use windshield wiper motions to bring that Mocha Eyeshadow through my crease. Next I'm going to take my MAC 224 Fluffy Eyeshadow Brush and start blending that Mocha Eyeshadow and Corrupt Eyeshadow together just on the outer corners. I'm going to take Maybelline's Color Tattoo in Barely Branded and I'm going to take that same MAC concealer brush that we used earlier and apply this to the inner half of my lid. I'm going to take my NYX Highlight and Contour Palette in a flat eyeshadow brush and I want to grab this, the lightest color from the kit and I'm just going to apply this to the inner corner of my eye. Next I'm going to take Makeup Geek Smoka eyeshadow again and that flat MAC 212 brush. I'm just going to carve out a very harsh line in my crease. And then I'm going to take the Makeup Geek Pointed Crease Brush again and start buffing out that crease upwards. So next we're going to darken up that wing just a little bit, just creating the bottom portion of that winged liner. And I'm just going to use Maybelline's Master Precise Skinny a pencil. This is supposed to act just like gel liner. So this is brand new. I picked it up at Ulta earlier this week so I'm excited to try it for this look. take my black eyeshadow again and just buff out this wing. And then I'm just going to clean up underneath my eyes. 
if you can try and carve out a crisp line to create the illusion of that wing. Next, I'm gonna apply a thin coat of mascara and then apply my false lashes. So for my lashes, I'm just going to apply my Ardell 120 Demi Wispy Lashes. These are definitely my go-to lashes. I'm just going to use some black lash adhesive, wait 30 seconds, and then apply these to my lashes. And once these lashes are set in place, I will just use my finger, press my natural lash with the fake lashes together. <music> For my foundation, I am going to use the new L'Oreal Lumi Cushion Foundation, and I am going to use the color N3 and a half. And I'm just going to take my Morphe M439 Round Kabuki Brush and dab this directly into the product, gently buff this into my skin. This is a very interesting foundation I found as I was applying this. It is more on the watery side, so that's why it maybe creates that luminous glow. For my oily skin type, I am not a huge fan of luminous foundation, but I'm going to show you some tips to make sure your skin stays matte all night. Also, this foundation seems to start out with a medium coverage, but you can build this up to a full coverage foundation. Next, I'm gonna add a little bit of highlight underneath my eyes, and I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I'm just going to apply this directly to my face using a concealer brush. Blend this in just slightly. Add a little bit to my forehead. And then I'm gonna blend the rest in using my sponge. So next I'm gonna set this foundation and I'm just gonna use the Maybelline Shine Free Loose Powder. And I'm just gonna dump a bunch of this into the cap, use my sponge and use the baking technique to set my foundation. And I'm using this technique to set my whole face because I want my face to stay matte throughout the night. Now you may ask why would I use a luminous foundation if I want my face to be matte? It's because I still want my skin to sparkle underneath all of this product and I feel like by setting my foundation with this baking technique, it still allows that luminous foundation to shine through as the night goes on. So I'm gonna set this powder onto my face for a good 15 minutes if I can. Obviously the longer the better, so I'm gonna let this set and I'll be right back. All right, now that this has set into my skin, I am just going to dust this off with a clean, fluffy powder brush. This is a more of a subtle look, so that's why I am dusting it off without any other product. And once all of this product is off, I am gonna go back in, add some powder, contour, and highlight. All right, now I'm gonna take my NYX highlight and contour palette and just mix these two colors together and create a subtle contour. And I'm just using a MAC tapered face brush to do this. And when you apply that contour to your forehead, make sure you're applying it as close to your hairline as possible. And I'm gonna take that same tapered face brush and dab my brush into these two colors right here. My blush I'm going to take NYX's pinched blush and I'm gonna use that same Mac tapered face brush and I just want to apply this to the apples of my cheek all right and for my last two steps I am going to add some glitter to my eyelid I am gonna use NYX's roll-on shimmer in platinum and I'm just going to gently rub this onto the silver part of my eye and then I'm going to use a Sigma concealer brush and just blend this out just so it's not all concentrated in one place. You can also dip this brush into this roll on shadow and dab it onto your lid that way. And then once you get to the gradient or transition area you just kind of want to flick it out towards the outer corner so it blends in seamlessly. Mm -hmm. 
And then I'm gonna add NYX's Illuminator just above my cheekbones. I know I use this all the time, but I just absolutely love this product. And I feel like this color is the perfect color for my skin tone. So I'm just going to apply this in a C and then blend this in with my beauty sponge. For my lips, I'm gonna use Maybelline's new Vivid Matte Liquid in the color Nude Thrill. Now, if you want, you can leave your lips matte like this, but for some reason, I'm feeling like this look needs that super glossy lip. So I'm just gonna take NYX's Plump It Up Lip Plumper. This is in the color Jessica. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it and I can't believe that this is my last video of 2015. I can't believe it. So I hope you guys enjoy your New Year's and I hope you guys like this video and if you do please hit that like button. Please subscribe, share this video with your friends and as always thanks to you guys so much for spending the time with me and I'll see you in 2016. Bye everybody!